was all that I could do to keep from crying. Sometimes it seems so, yay! Well, it's a Monday, November 1st, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a fight that's happening in December. I know it's early for me, but give me a break, man, come on! Okay, this one is the Vladimir Klitschko versus uh, Derek Chisora, or Delboy. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna break both fighters down. I already feel like I broke Klitschko down like a thousand times, but I'll do it a little bit again. And I'm going to give uh, my opinions on Derek Chisora. As a matter of fact, I might even take what I'm going to tell you and put it into a prospect perspective for people that, you know, just want to see that. Okay? We'll start out with Derek Chisora. He's a... Uh, 26 years old, but he's relatively inexperienced when it comes to uh, the professional game. He's had 14 uh, professional fights, 9 by knockout, and 8 of his last 10 fights have come by knockout, so that's that's cool. He's got good wins over Sam Sexton twice, knocked him out twice, but in all fairness, Sexton appears to be a bit of a blown up... Uh, you know, thing. He's a bit overrated. You know, he was ranked as high as 14 when Chisora blasted him out of there, but yeah, I think he was overrated. He beat uh, Danny Williams, who was fading, and, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's about it as far as his professional uh, fighters, people that he's fought. He's uh, active. He has good footwork. His uh, feet are, appear to be constantly moving a lot. Uh, he has a strong jab, holds his hands high. He has okay head movement, not great. He has good power and it's getting better. Eight of his last ten fights have come by way of knockout. So he's developing into it. He's getting into his flow, his rhythm, as you would like to say. Uh, solid left hooks. He places those high and low. Uh, he's good at fighting inside. His uppercuts are nice. He has a nice finishing attack when he uh, thinks he has you hurt. Uh, he needs to learn to cut off the ring a little bit better. Uh, he drops his right hand when he throws his left. Uh, when he rolls, and this I'll explain more in my video, when he does his rolls and stuff like that, it's kind of slow motion. He's open for uppercuts and hooks, and he doesn't really throw off of it when he does it, so it's kind of like a wasted motion. In boxing, you shouldn't waste anything. If you're going to do something, if you're going to dip down, <clears throat> you want to fire that hook out there as you come around and get that momentum and fire him out. And you don't want to move all nice and slow and wait for somebody to bust you in the head. You feeling me? Uh, he's very open to uppercuts and counter left hooks when he does this stuff. Uh, he drops his hands in the later rounds. His stamina is definitely a question. He's only went eight rounds or longer three times in his career. Uh, his last was actually his longest fight in the ninth. Stamina has to be a massive question. He looked a bit gassed and he ate the ninth, and um, I don't know if you have heard this, but Vladimir Klitschko isn't Sam Sexton. Just throwing that out there. Um, he appears to struggle with boxers that have a jab. You know, he has a reach problem. He doesn't have the world's longest reach, and he's only, he's like six foot one and a half. So, he's built like a tank. He's built like a tank, but, uh, you know, he's going to struggle with that because this isn't Mike Tyson. Okay? Going over to Vladimir Klitschko. What more can you say about him? What about you, Aguirre? You got anything? Yes, he did hammer Peters. Hammered him to the earth, man. So it doesn't look like he's really, uh, he he's not that scared guy that, you know, got knocked down by Peters. He's not afraid to get hit anymore. I mean, he doesn't want to get hit. I don't know many people that do want to get hit, but if you find that person, go ahead and hit him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want you beating on people. That's wrong. Uh, he's in his groove. He is absolutely there. He's defended his title as much or more than most heavyweights have ever defended it. In fact, the only ones that have done it as many times or more than him is Muhammad Ali, who did it ten uh, Larry Holmes, who defended his title 20 times. Joe Lewis, 
25, which is the record. Uh, Lennox Lewis defended it 10 times. And then, you know, Vladimir has defended his title 10 times. So Vitaly has seven in a row. Uh, Ali, obviously, he had two reigns. One was nine. The other one was 10. I think he could have probably had it 25 times in a row himself. But, you know, he had that three-year break. It wasn't a self-imposed break, though. So, you know, when you look at that, Tyson only had, only defended nine times. Uh, Joe Frazier, four times. Uh, George Foreman only defended it two times. He did that twice. And uh, Marciano, who I love, only defended the title six times. So, when, when you look at all that stuff, I mean, this is... He's the elite heavyweight of our generation. He fights tall. He keeps you at a distance. He pops the jab, hammers you with the right, overhand rights. The left hooks are devastating. He can outbox the boxers, and he can out, out counterpunch the punchers. Okay? Uh, he boxes very well. His footwork is exceptional, believe it or not. He has very, very good power. He has a lot of cumulative damage. He hits you, his timing is excellent, and he makes you pay for every single mistake you make. Um, and that's that's pretty much it with him. And you can look at all my other uh, things if I'm missing anything. You know, I mean, he's six foot six and a half, 245, 255 pounds. He's an amazing athlete. A highly, highly intelligent man. Uh, prediction for the fight, uh, Klitschko knocks out Chisora probably in the 7th or 8th round. Chisora gets tired, and he just gets hammered out. This isn't Sexton, and Chisora should have waited, you know, until he got five, six more fights under his belt. But then again, when you're presented this opportunity, you kind of have to take it. I think Chisora could hang with just about all the other heavyweights except the Klitschkos, and it would be makings for nice fights in there. But this one, he's going to get hammered. His reach and all that is going to be exposed. He's going to get caught lunging in to try and land some shots because he said he's going to try and push Klitschko. Nobody's going to attack him and stuff. Well, there's a reason why people don't attack him. They try and then they get punched in the face and then they stop. All right. Well, hey, uh, sorry this one was a little quicker, but uh, it was pretty easy to break down. It wasn't that hard for me. I mean, the work I did for it was excellent. <laughs> and anyway... Klitschko by knockout in the uh, seventh or eighth. I can't. I can't go with two rounds. That's that bunk. I'll go with the eighth round. I know it's earlier than my past predictions, but I think Chisora's stamina will show through, and the the punishment that he's going to take is will overcome him. He's going to get hit a lot. So there you have it. Vladimir Klitschko by knockout in the eighth round. All right. Wait, it's a big ragu. I'm out.